Hello friends, it's lovely to see you all. Um, we are talking this week about Jan van Eyck and one of the things that he uh, is most remembered for is his very famous Ghent altarpiece. And the Ghent altarpiece is a collection of different uh, biblical stories and characters all painted together on something that's called a triptych. And a triptych is a three-piece panel, tri in triptych, meaning the three, and that's something that I would like for us to try to do today. So we have this little panel right here that we are going to cut out and then draw on. It's got three pieces, one, two, three, and they fold up just like a real triptych would. So we're going to make this today. This will be very, very easy to do. You're going to start with a piece of paper. It's best if you have cardstock, but if you don't, it's perfectly fine. Um, construction paper works pretty well too. I'm just using this copy paper because it's handy. Um, but you're going to take a regular piece of paper. You're going to need a ruler, a pencil, and some scissors. And then whatever it is you want to color your triptych with. Uh, for the measuring, you are going to use your ruler and uh, usually the paper that we have is either 12 or 11 inches long. This one is 11 inches long and so what you're going to need to do is find the center of the paper lengthwise. You're going to have your paper laid out uh, landscape style and if you put the zero right here at the end you'll see that it goes all the way to the 11 and you're going to need to find the center. The center is five and a half because 11 divided by two is five and a half. So the five and the six and then that middle point in between the five and the six is five and a half. Now that you have that marked, you're going to fold your paper inwards evenly so that it stops at that center point. You're going to do that on both sides. So now you have a little envelope type thing. And this is fine and dandy, but we want to give it a little bit more flair. So what I'm going to do is measure down from the top three inches. It can be any amount that you want. I'm just choosing three inches because it's a nice even number. I'm going to put a little mark here on the fold, the right fold, and I'm going to put a little mark here three inches down on the left fold. And from there I'm going to take my scissors and I'm going to cut from that point three inches down to the center, keeping my uh, triptych closed the whole time. So now I've gone to the center and here I'm going to do the same thing. So now we have this neat shape that we can open up. It kind of looks like a crown when you open it up this way. But now you've got your blank canvas to create your triptych with. So what I want you friends to do with this is maybe do a story because triptychs usually told stories, um, a beginning, a middle, and an end. If you want to look at the Ghent altarpiece as um, an example, there are actually several others out there. Uh, Hieronymus Bosch made a few. Um, a lot of people in the early Renaissance era made these triptychs. Um, you could tell a story of what you and your family have been doing since you've been quarantined. You could tell a story about some happy memory that you have. Also, I thought another neat thing to do would be uh, the use of the threes would be talking about the Holy Trinity. You could draw the Father, maybe in the middle, and then the Son and the Holy Spirit. So there's another option right there. So have fun with this. And if you can, send me a picture of what you've done. I'd really like to see this. You all know that Jan Van Eyck has a special place in my heart. So I miss you all. You just keep on keeping on, and hopefully I'll get to see you soon. Thanks. Bye.